Hey everyone, it's Jones. You may have noticed the theme where I'm always late and Brian's always grumpy with me. Let me show you why I'm running late today. Last night I prepared method lead here and you can see there's a little corn coming off the edge of the hook there. It's a very British carp uh, rig. I also prepared some boiled bird seed and I've got pack bait under there and that's supposed to be wadded up and put into the method lead here. Now that I'm a few minutes late, let's head out. Good morning, everybody. This is Brian from Castmates. We've got Jonesy right there. We're here today at Blaise Park in Ashburn, Virginia. We're going to try to you're gonna have to re-record. We're good, <laughs> and I'm gonna need a new cat net. <laughs> what have I caught? We're gonna try to catch some carp and some Those catfish here today. Net. And our friend Jonesy, just on our intro, is trying to uh, catch some minnows on his cast net, and he managed to bring up a log as our first catch of the day. <laughs> but we're gonna set up a bait bomb. We're gonna set up some carp bait, and uh, hopefully we catch something big here today. We've seen a lot of people catching some big carp, so hopefully we could land one of those guys. Tie lines. So we're gonna set up a bait farm for some carp. Get the you get the cheapest dog food you can find. Is we cut some holes into an empty jug. I'm gonna tie it to this anchor line with the carabiner so we can retrieve it when we're done. We have dog food going in here, and it's gonna carry that scent downstream. And the carp are gonna come swim up to it. We're gonna cast our lines around that, and hopefully we can land something. So bait farm right here with our dog food. Tied to an anchor, anchor line is tied to the bank. I'm just gonna throw this out right in the middle and then hope the little carpies and the little catfish come swimming upstream for us. And the big ones too. Yeah, and the big ones. I'll tell you what, it'll get the job done. We have set going downstream, it'll bring them up. Proof of concept. What? So they were out of liver at the store. So we're going with alternative baits. I've got a piece of bubble gum that I've worked to look like, I don't know. Apparently the bubble gum scent will bring a catfish in. Okay, this is an alternative bait and I've tried to make it look like a grub, but it really just looks like a piece of bubble gum. We'll see if this works. We have our catfish uh, bait bomb out in the water. Um, on this rod, we're using bacon. On this rod, we're using corn. This one's got bubble gum. And then we got another one down here that has the pack bait and corn on it. So hopefully between one, two, three, four, five rods, we'll get something swimming up this way. I think it's only a matter of time. We're, we're, gonna, give, uh, we're gonna give our scent bomb a little longer. So patience now. It's a beautiful day out here on the river. Another experimental bait we're going to try today is soap. I was checking online and seeing uh, people just cut off like a little chunk of a bar of soap and the catfish are supposed to love it. Who knows? Let's see what we got, right? Look. So far we've had some bites on the uh, bacon, the one that I assume will probably get the most baits. I think we had one on the bubble gum, nothing on the soap yet, nothing on the corn, but it's still early. We've only had the bait bomb in the river for maybe an hour and a half. Um, so I still have faith in Jonesy might be losing just a little bit, but um, I think we'll still be able to snag one out of here today. So update, we're moving our location where Broad Run Creek meets the Potomac River Point. Um, weren't getting any luck where we were, maybe a couple bites, but nothing significant. One thing I have learned about myself, I'm incredibly out of shape. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So a little update for you. We have moved locations to the point where Totten Creek meets the Potomac River. Not Totten Creek, I keep saying that, Broad Run. Um, we have had no luck today. Jones is trying his uh, hand at rubbing a cast net where all these little minnows are. Maybe they get some live bait, but he keeps getting snagged up on things. Oh my God, you got minnows. So with Jonesy's little cast net right here, we managed to bring some minnows in. Um, obviously, there's one right there. Another one down there at the bottom. Um, I think they're all alive. There's probably about six in there. Um, so we're gonna try to get more. Gonna try to rig up some uh, live bait rigs and maybe we can get something out here. So Brian is gonna try cast nets, or tossing a cast net for the first time. I just gave him a crash course. So I'm gonna throw out here. Mm -hmm. And then as this goes out with this arm, I'm gonna basically rip it down and bring it over. You don't need to rip it down. It's just kind of a gentle motion. All right. That was close to perfect, Brian. Nothing. I think you went out too far. Okay. All right, Jonesy's got something. What was this on? Minnow. <laughs> Catfish. Oh boy. <laughs> Little yellow bullhead? Yeah. Little brown bullhead? I don't know. One of them. He's gonna bite your finger. That is a snake in the water out there. He's a big old snake. Also, we're mediocre fishermen at best, so we can't really expect to catch anything. Exactly. So that's not going in the video. But 